believe she'll be willing to speak with us. Or are we bound for violence? You are Rook. I have seen you and your companions. We made ourselves bodies to be like humans, but I never expected to see humans scurrying about in the Dread Wolf's crossroads. And you know who I am. Mithal. The part of me that survived betrayal by the rest of the Evanuris, if this can be called surviving. Solas. He drew me from the dagger that struck me down, but what is left of me can only survive here. I cannot return to the world, and even the true Fade is denied me. All I can do is watch. Why are you here? To beg me to give up what remains of myself to help you defeat the monsters Elganan and Gilanane have become? Or do you simply think yourself ready to fight a god? I came here to ask for your help. The gods have endangered the world and- You dare explain to me what they are doing. You are a thousand years from knowing the proper words. We saw Solus's memories, his regrets. You saw the recollection he cultivated like a tree twisting to catch the sun. You wish for my help? Convince me. Make your case, and I will yield my essence willingly to help you against Elganan and Gilanane. Fail, and I shall kill you for wasting my time, or you will kill me and obtain my essence in doing so. A harder-edged, simpler version. It has been centuries since a petitioner stood before me, so why should I help you? If I don't stop the gods, the whole world will be corrupted by the Blight. That is why you must succeed, so tell me why I must help you. We know the truth about the Blight. We know it came from the imprisoned dreams of the Titans after you and Solus defeated them. And? Stopping the Blight mattered enough for you to talk with Solus even after he rebelled against you. It mattered enough for you to stand against the other gods. And I was struck down for doing so, betrayed by those I had ruled beside for centuries. You made the difficult choice to protect your home because it was the right thing to do. Help me do the same. Not bad, but not enough. Let us speak of something else. You can't want Elgernon and Gilanane to rule the world. Not after what they did to you. I ruled alongside them for centuries. I bear them no love now, and they were ever flawed, as all rulers are. Yet the world needs rulers. So set the Blight aside and tell me why I should help you topple them. What they did to you was wrong. And you care so deeply for the injustice done to me thousands of years ago. You deserve justice, and they deserve to be punished for misusing their power and killing you when you tried to check them. If you wish to prove your worth, you must do better than that. I am worthy of your help. That is for me to judge. I am fighting to protect this world. Any petty tyrant can fight those who come to their land and claim to be protecting their people. I have seen rulers, human as you are, the mages of Tevinter, following in the Elven Empire's footsteps. They build nothing that does not serve them. Why should I believe you are any better? What is a protector to you? It's making a place that's safe for everyone. That means defending against danger, but it also means building a strong community that works together for the common good. And what have you built? Look at my team. We're not just hired blades. We started as strangers and grew together into a family. Your arguments are compelling. I find you worthy, Rook. I have spent thousands of years watching. I shall miss that. But if what I am can protect the innocent and smite the guilty, 
This is what remains of me. I give it to you freely. Use it to protect this world with kindness when possible and cunning when necessary. I will. Thank you. I offer one further boon. I cannot enter the physical world or the pure Fade, but in this place, I still carry some power. Evil has intruded here. The Blight, seeded by Elganon and Gelanane. Find it, and when you meet your greatest challenge, I will fly one last time. The essence of a god. Like a piece of the sun, I've never felt something so alive. I don't want to ruin the moment, but what do we do with it? A god knows her moment. At least, uh, her essence does. When the time comes, we'll be ready.